Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for another campground experiential video. As you can see, up there in the title, we are at Stephen F. Austin State Park. It was about, what, three years ago we were here? Thereabouts, two, three years? Nice park. I really like Stephen F. Austin State Park. And you'll see why in this video. I'm just going to give you an update since I'm here. And I need to do the Insta360 for Stephen F. Austin anyway. So I'll give you a whole new... Of course, you're not going to see this till like maybe January. <laughs> so you may be watching this going, oh, I'll be glad when it's warm and I can go camping again. But let's get to a site review real quick. I don't even remember what site I'm in. That's a common problem. Now, Stephen F. Austin has some really, a, a really, has a really great pull through loop. So we're in site number, what, 25. We are full connection with a sewer. We only have 30 amp, no 50. So we get, <laughs> I guess. We have 30 amp and full connection. You'll notice we have Starlink deployed. There's a whole lot of trees. We're still getting 80 megabits per second down, which is not shabby. We have uh, three bars of Verizon 4G. The tower for that is right out on I-10. The pull through side is, is relatively level. I did have to lift the patio side, curb side three blocks but look at this site ha! the sites here are all all the pull through sites are very spacious and you and they're looking out on to to the woods we're not too far we're like three sites from the facilities two sites you can see no three sites between us and the shower and we'll be doing a shower review shortly now austin county has just recently lifted the burn ban so we have a place to burn some wood and do a little grilling we have a wooden picnic table concrete pad and man oh man look at the <laughs> we have i think the tallest lantern hook i have seen in my travels the ubiquitous lantern hook has has grown. It's gotten real tall. Compared to where our last campsite where it was this tall, and actually the lantern was about that high, the, the hook part of it. I think it's the first one I've seen where most people are going to have to have some kind of... That's eight feet off the ground. Okay, enough about the lantern hook. Now the... You'll notice there's a tree trimmer rig here when we pulled up. They were cutting the tree in the site next door. And, and they, they found out the hard way there's a bee colony living in that tree. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna eat some lunch, deploy some wheels, and we'll go see some Stephen F. Austin State Park stuff. Time for the Dude RV shower check. And this one, this is a family restroom. Look at this. Lots of space. You have your own flush toilet. Two different shower heads. Need a little CLR on that one. All right. That's nice. That's quite nice. I wonder if there's a shower on the back side. So this is also the restroom for the trail system. Well, looks like that fell on somebody's head. Lots of shower space. 
All right, let's let's go see some more stuff. Stephen F. Austin State Park has a very extensive trail network, and there's a lot of bike trails. And as such, they give you a wash station for your bicycle. But I don't I don't see one of those handy dandy bicycle workstations, repair stations. Maybe that'll be somewhere else. Ice. $3 per bag. Place money in the honor box. Right there. That's, that's pretty cool. All right. Let's go see some more stuff. If tent camping is your thing, Stephen F. Austin State Park has got you covered. Check this out. I mean, the, the primitive campsites are just as fantastic as the RV pull-through sites. Just, wow, beautiful. And they have a new restroom for this, this part of the, the campground. Let's go check that out. When we were here last time, this was under construction. Pretty much the exact same thing. Doesn't look that, doesn't really look that new either. <laughs> I guess, I guess there's been a lot of hard use in a few years since we were here. All right, now we need to go see screen shelter. I'm not exactly sure how many they have, but some of the screen shelters have been renovated and turned into cabins. I'm sure it's locked. Yep, it is locked. Let's see if we can see inside. Can we see inside? Nope, not there. What about over here? Well, we, get, we can get a little better look. We've got bunks. It's like a small, small full-size bed. And bunks. The air conditioner. That's most important. That one's closed. That one's closed. So anyway, you'll have air conditioning. If you don't want to sleep in a tent, you don't want to sleep in an RV, but you got to have AC, the cabin that we cannot see into. Or you can do a screen shelter. They have a lot of them. And they are your typical state park screen shelter. Double netting, so you big critters and small cannot get in here. And it looks like you have open rafters. You can use your open rafters and big clamps to put tarps up if you need to. They, they would prefer you not stapling or nailing them to the wall. Okay, let's see what else we can find. Let's go see some more Stephen F. Austin State Park stuff. Although it's possible, it's possible that I'm wrong, but I think this is the only cabin. It says cabin number 20, but I think this is the only air conditioned cabin of all of these. Because none of the others have are enclosed like this. One. This one's pretty well. It's pretty obvious. There's windows. None of the others have windows. They all have screen panels. So now you know if you need a if you need an air conditioned cabin, you better be booking early. It has been a few campgrounds since we have seen a place for the kids to burn off some energy but stephen f austin state park has at least they have some swings they got those swings that can go real high look at the long chains so you can get some great elevation and jump just don't tell mom i told you to do that I'm not liable if you're jumping out of swings. That's not a smart move. There's actually cookers over here too, so you can grill up some burgers 
while the kids are burning off energy. You can burn up some burgers. All right, let's go see some more Stephen F. Austin State Park stuff. Whew, that's a long name. I just saw a deer. At least I saw, I think, there she is right there. Is it here? Oh, there's another one right there. There's two deer. And they are not intimidated at all. Oh, they're not afraid to be on YouTube. You're YouTube famous now. If, if you're interested in doing some tent camping, Stephen F. Austin State Park has a whole lot of tent camping sites. This is actually the group tent camping site. And then there's individual. This is just off the day use area when you come in on the left. Well, here's a map. So that's where we are. All right, let's go see some more Stephen F. Austin State Park stuff. I had no idea that volleyball was such a deadly game. I mean, people are being buried right where they fall on the volleyball court. <laughs> Actually, Stephen F. Austin State Park does a, a Halloween thing for the kids, and that's part of it. And there's, there's several unique pieces of decoration set up here so we'll, we'll take a look at a couple of those don't worry don't worry mom he's housebroken and and I'll, I'll make sure he does his business outside but he's a he's such a pretty guy he's on his own that's Bo wolf that's what they named him Bo wolf looks like he takes some power i guess he's uh kind of of an animatronic thing so so you, you've heard of the mothman right that I, I guess that's supposed to be the mothman okay I, ha I have a bit of an issue with this one because he's like a skeleton but he's not a skeleton so how is that possible that he's got membranes on his skeletal wing And, and blood veins. So there's blood veins, but yet he's supposed to be. I'm just confused. Stephen F. Austin State Park is also well outfitted, well equipped to accommodate groups of young people, like Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, those types of groups. They have a barracks building, the haunted barracks. And then I guess that's probably where the big kitchen is. Big communal fire pit. There's, you could even pitch some tents for the kids. <laughs> All right. Now that we've seen the haunted barracks and the crazy scarecrow, scare, scarecrow thing or majigger, there's one more, one more place that's one more spooky place. Now th that one's very confusing. I don't get it. How, how can it have antlers and be like a lizard man? I, I've, I've never seen a lizard with antlers. That's, that's just not right. Anyway, this, this is the nature center. They've turned it into, I guess, a spooky house for the holiday. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Stephen F. Austin State Park is one of only three Texas state parks with a golf course. And we're standing here at the clubhouse. Got a big old grill over there. And another big smoker cooker here. And you can see some golfers out there doing their thing, whacking little balls. I don't play golf, but maybe if I get an opportunity, I'll be able to ride, ride the trails, the golf cart trails. Of course, they typically don't like that. All right, time to go do a, 
a virtual tour. If I couldn't get to the river on the trail system, I came out to the state highway. That dude's got some really wide tracks. But that's the Brazos River right there. It's running, running pretty slow right now. Not surprising since we're in a drought. All right, let's go to the historic site. So the, the Texas Historical Commission has since built a new museum, a, a new memorial, but this is the original Memorial Park that memorialized Stephen F. Austin and San Felipe de Austin, the town. It's actually the well. That's the well right there. Between 1823 and 1836. Someone had mentioned to me that a building had burned here. I, I thought it was at the new, some of the new stuff they were building. I was wrong. Here, there was a, a structure that was here as a log cabin. It was actually a reconstruction built by the CCC, but it was a good representation of what the, some of the houses look like in San Felipe de Austin. And some kids burned it. You know, I guess it was kids. Near this site stood a town hall built in 1830. Held the first and second conventions of Texas, 32 and 33, and the consultation of 1835. Provisional government function here until March 2nd, 1836, when the Republican Republic was formed at Washington on the Brazos. The building was burned with the town to prevent its falling into the hands of the advancing Mexican army. I think there's there's a bit of irony. The Texans burned San Felipe de Austin to the ground. And then somebody burnt the reconstruction to the ground too. All right. The, the new facility is closed. So I'm done for today. There's three and four. Nice day to start, nice, nice way to start the day. Good morning from Stephen F. Austin State Park. This is my second time, this is this is our second time to Stephen F. Austin State Park. I'm not liking it as much as I did the first time. Don't get me wrong. I love this park. I, I really like the way the the RV loop is laid out. I think it could, it could stand to have 50 amp power, but that doesn't affect us because I've got the soft start and it's cold. I mean, it's cool. We don't need lots of AC, so 30 amp works out just fine. What I'm disappointed in is the, I don't know if you can hear it on the, on the camera, there's a buzzing noise from the waste treatment plant. It's like right there. I don't remember that from my last visit. Uh, and that could be because we were at the beginning of the loop, site number one. That's the only thing I don't like. It's just that irritating buzzing noise that's been going on for, well, since we got here, since we arrived, it's been going on. I, I can't, I can't speak to road noise because 
that drowns it all out. I think this is a great waypoint stop. No question about that. It's a it's a great it's also a fantastic destination, especially if you like to ride bike trails and hike. It's not too far from shopping and urban conveniences, but you're still kind of outside of suburbia. Oh, hey, it's a pretty popular park. There's only a couple of sites open this morning. We had several roll in after dark. And I'm, I'm pretty certain those are waypointers just coming in off of 10. I didn't get to visit the Texas Historical Com Commission location, the, the Stephen, the San Felipe de Austin Museum. Uh, I really wanted to get in there and see uh, the reconstruction, the buildings that they've built. I'll have to wait till the next visit to this area. Uh, we're having to leave a, a day early because Yappy's had a couple more, a couple of meetings added to her schedule, and we're not, you know, we're we're more than an hour out from the two locations, so I gotta go to a dang RV resort. But uh, whatever, I gotta make her happy. Gotta, gotta make life better for her. She shouldn't have to drive three hours in traffic for this. So we'll just move our house. That's the beautiful thing about having a motor home is we can move our house. So we're done. If you found some, some value, some benefit, please click on that thumbs up, blast me out across your social media. And if you've not already, it would be great if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. The data shows that 95% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed. Hey, it only take it costs you nothing. Just click the subscribe button. That would really help me help us continue to produce this kind of content for y'all. For those of you who have been following along, thank you so much. I, I can't I cannot say thank you enough. That's why I get to do what I do. That's why, that's why we're out here this morning. And for my patrons, I'm most grateful for your generosity. You got rock. All right, y'all come back now. You hear?